This is very interesting question from uh, concepts of uh, function that is mappings and permutation combination. The question is it is given that there are two sets of real numbers set A and set B. Set A has 100 elements and set B has uh, 50 elements. Find the number of mappings from set A to B if every element in B has an inverse image and uh, f of a1 is less than or equal to f of a2 less than or equal to f of a3 up to less than or equal to f of a100. Since the question is from mapping, we start with drawing the sets. This is set A having 100 elements. and this is set B having 50 elements. We have a mapping from set A to B. The elements of set B are called images and uh, those of set A are called pre-images. We know that in function or in mapping, every pre-image has a unique image. Also here it is given that every element in set B has an inverse image. This means function is onto. The range of function is uh, entire set B which is a co-domain of the function. Or we can say each image in set B is associated with at least one pre-image from set A. Now here we have uh, 100 pre-images, 100 elements and here we have only 50 images that means function is many one. Now we have to find the number of mappings under this condition. We have to maintain this uh, order of values of f of a1, f of a2 and f of a hundred. So what we do? We form 15 non-empty groups from this 100 elements maintaining the order of these values. Now here we are assuming that uh, b1 less than b2 less than b3 up to less than b50 that means these values are in ascending order. As I said to maintain this order of values we form 15 non-empty groups. Suppose uh, first group has uh, three elements then this will be assigned uh, uh, an image B1. The second group uh, formed will be assigned an image uh, uh, B2 and the last group will be assigned an image B50. In that case this order of value is maintained. So there will be one one correspondence for this 15 non-empty groups with the elements of set B. Now the question arises uh, how many 15 non-empty groups can be formed. We can say the number of ways in which we can form 15 non-empty groups is equal to number of mappings. The question reduces to in how many ways we can form 50 non-empty groups maintaining the order of this subscript. To form 50 groups, we use partition method. We use 49 partitions. Definitely we cannot put partition here, otherwise uh, one group will be empty. We have to form non-empty groups. So we cannot put partition either here or here. We can put partitions in the gaps. We have uh, this 99 gaps. 1, 2, 3, uh, up to this is uh, uh, 99 gap. Out of this 99 gaps, I have to use 49 gaps to put 49 partitions and I can select those 49 places from 99 in 99C 49 ways. This is equal to number of ways we can form 50 non-empty groups and this is equal to number of uh, mappings with the given restriction that is uh, f of a1 less than or equal to f of a2 
up to less than or equal to f of a hundred and also with the restriction that every element in a, a set b has an inverse image. So, this is very nice question from permutation combination using the concept of partitions. We have this question from the concepts of permutation combination and number theory. The question is a natural number a is called lucky number if the sum of its digits is 7. Arrange all lucky numbers in an ascending order and we get sequence a 1, a 2, a 3 like this. If nth term of this series is 2005, a n is 2005, then we have to find the value of a 5 n. Now, first of all, let us see how many numbers of k digits can be formed in which sum of digits is m. Suppose k digit number is x 1, x 2, x 3 up to x k. Here x k is unit place number, x k minus 1 is 10th place number like this. Now, sum of the digits is suppose m. So, we have equation x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 up to x k. This is equal to m. Now, clearly here x 1 is greater than or equal to 1. x 1 cannot be uh, 0. Otherwise, uh, uh, number will be of k minus 1 digits and we want number of k digits. So, x 1 is greater than or equal to 1 and each of uh, uh, x 2, x 3 up to x k is greater than or equal to 0. Now, in this if I replace x 1 by x 1 dash plus 1, I have equation x 1 dash plus x 2 plus x 3 up to x k. This is equal to m minus 1 in which x 1 dash is greater than or equal to 0. Now, what are the number of solutions of this equation? Number of solutions are m minus 1 plus k minus 1 c k minus 1 or m plus k minus 2 c m minus 1. Now, we want numbers in which sum of digits is 7. That means, the value of m is 7. In that case, uh, this is equal to k plus 5 c 6, putting m is equal to 7. Now, here I make a table. In first column, I put the value of k and in second column, I have number of numbers. If k is 1, how many numbers of one digit in which sum of digits is 7? That is only one number 7. So, here I get 1 and in this if I put k is equal to 1, I get 6 c 6, the value is 1. Now, if k is 2, that means uh, number of digits is 2, then how many numbers can be formed in which sum of digits is 7? In this, if I put k is equal to 2, I have 7 c 6. So, I have 7 numbers. Then I put here k is equal to 3, the number of numbers in which sum of digits is 7. So, putting k is equal to 3 here, I get 8 c 6. This is equal to 28. Now, we have 4 digit numbers like this. Now, if I fix up this digit as 1, then how many numbers can be formed in which the sum of digits is 7? Now, here x 1 is 1. So, we have equation x 2 plus x 3 plus x 4 is equal to 6. The number of non-negative integral solutions of this equation are 6 plus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1. This is uh, 8 c 2. So, this is equal to 28. There will be 28 numbers of 4 digit in which this digit is 1 and sum of digits is 7. Now, when this 28 numbers of 4 digit are over, the next number will start with uh, 2 in first place. Here we have 2. So, the first number in this series, if the sum of digits is 7 is 2005. So, what is the index of this number? The index of this number is 1 plus 7 plus 
28 plus 28 plus 1 because before this number uh, we have uh, this many numbers in which sum of digits is 7. So, index of this number is uh, uh, this plus 1 and this is equal to 65. Okay. So, the value of n is 65. Now, we want a 5n here 5n is equal to 325. So, we have to find 325th number in this series. Okay, now, how many total 4 digit numbers in which sum of digits is 7? For that, I put here k is equal to 4. So, I write here 4 and number of numbers is 4 plus 5. So, I have here 9c6. The value of 9c6 is 84. Then, the number of 5 digits numbers in which the sum of digits is 7. So, I write here 5 and here I get 10 C 6, the value of this is 2 1 0. Okay, now, the sum of these values 1 7 28 84 and 2 1 0 is 330. But we want the number whose index is 325. Now, we do the backward counting the last 5 digit number in which the sum of digits is 7 is 70,000. Before this, the number is 61,000. Before this, we have uh, 60,100. Before this, we have number 60,010. And before this, we have number 60,001. So, these are 5 numbers if we do backward counting. Okay. The index of this number is 326. So, what is the 325th number? The number is 52,000. In the backward counting, the next number is 52,000. So, we have A 5 n is equal to 52,000. We have a question from permutation combination. The question is 9 balls number from 1 to 9 are put randomly at 9 equally spaced points on a circle, each point with 1 ball. Let S be the sum of the absolute values of the differences of the numbers of all 2 neighboring balls. Then find the probability of S to be the minimum value. Here we have a circular arrangement. We are arranging 9 different balls in a circle. Let me mark 9 positions here. What are the total number of ways in which we can arrange 9 different balls in circle? Since we are arranging balls, clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are indistinguishable. So, in that case, total number of arrangements are 8 factorial divided by now, we have to find the favorable cases in which sum s is minimum. What is sum s? Sum s is the sum of absolute values of the differences of the numbers of all two neighboring balls. That means, uh, uh, we calculate the difference of uh, uh, these two balls, then these two balls, these two balls. Uh, we calculate the absolute value of difference of uh, all two neighboring balls and then we add this addition is minimum. For that, we have to find the number of arrangements. Now, suppose we have here uh, uh, ball number 1 and here we have ball number 9. We have two roots from 1 to 9. One is this root and other is this root. Now, suppose on this root, we have uh, k balls x1, x2, x3 up to x k. Here, I have marked 3 balls, but we are considering uh, k balls. The value of k may be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6 or 7. Okay. Now, what is the sum of absolute values of differences of 2 consecutive balls on this root? The sum is modulus of 1 minus uh, x 1 plus modulus of x 1 minus x 2 up to modulus of x k minus 9. Now, from the concepts of inequality of uh, modulus function, we have this is greater than or equal to 1 minus x 1 plus x 1 minus x 2 
up to x k minus 9. So, this sum is 8 that means, this sum is greater than or equal to 8, the minimum value of this sum is 8. And when this value is realized? This value is realized only when we have 1 less than x 1 less than x 2 up to less than x k less than 9. That means, both x 1, x 2 up to x k have number on it in the increasing order. Okay. Similarly, if you put the remaining balls uh, on this root in the increasing order of their values, the minimum sum of absolute value of differences of two consecutive balls on this root will be also 8. So, we have uh, s minimum is equal to 16, but we have to find the number of arrangements when this sum is minimum. Now, on this root I have considered k was the value of k may be 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 7, but since uh, here clockwise and anticlockwise arrangements are indistinguishable, I will consider the value of k from 0 to 3. Once we fix up the number of balls on each root, the number of arrangements of the balls is uniquely determined because uh, we must have this order. Now, the question arises how many balls on this root? The value of k may be 0, 1, 2 or 3, when the value of k is 0, all the 7 balls will be here. I can select 0 ball for this root in 7 c 0 ways or I have 1 ball on this root. I can select 1 ball in 7 c 1 ways or uh, 2 balls on this root. I can select 7 c 2 ways or 3 balls on this root. I can select in 7 c uh, 3 ways. If I put 3 balls on this root, the remaining 4 balls will be on this root. So, that number of arrangements uh, uh, for uh, s minimum, we have this sum, this is equal to 1 plus 7, 7 c 2 is uh, 7 into 6 42 upon 2 21 plus 7 c 3, 7 c 3 is 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 upon 3 factorial, this is 35, 35 plus 21, 56, 56 plus 8, this is 64. So, we have 64 favorable cases. So, required probability is 64 upon 8 factorial divided by 2, this is 128 upon 8 factorial. You simplify this, you will get uh, this is equal to 1 upon 315. 